What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio. It's Casual Friday, and for this episode of Casual Friday, we are playing the sequel to the Chicken Holmes game from last week. This is Chicken Holmes Chanislavosky Whispers. Hopefully, it'll be less wonky than the first game, but we'll find out. In the 20th century, in the quiet and peaceful city of Bofete, there was a duck family, the Chanislavaski, the renowned ophthalmologist Ernesto, the crochet maker and appraiser of the best tomatoes in the city, Miss Mirdes, and her newborn son, Bartolomeu. They didn't practice dark magic. They didn't have any big secrets nor great riches. When their son was born, it was an endless happiness. They all started to madly experiment with the benefits of life, and Barto fell in love with both Iranian cinema and radical skate inspired by his idol, Hawk Hawk. Eighteen years have passed, and on a simple Friday, when Miss Mirdas went to the supermarket to buy provisions for the weekend and beetroot for that, night, that night's lasagna, Something terrible and malefic started to happen in that small city. Giant anvils started to appear and abduct people. Don't ask me how. No trace was left behind. It was as if the animals never existed. Miss Mirda's was the first case, and that awakened a horrifying and thirsty desire of justice in Ernesto. He engaged on a deep search, and nothing made sense. The pigs went after him and took him away, while little Barto was getting mad in his room, raving about his perceptions of life. Barto, now alone, contradicted his father's wishes and proceeded with his search about anvils, the bananas and the cactus. Everything seemed weirdly connected to a devilish strength. One more day, our hero, Degeliero, got into the game. Canny, voracious, and shrewd, our little chicken went against the main suspect pointed by Judite, his guide, and ended up finding the kidnapped Rubens and the suspicious Bartholomew, but neither her nor him expected that all of them would end up in somewhere of a parallel reality. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> I feel like a lot of it did not even get addressed in the first game. Dugulero, Bartholomew, and the poor Rubens from the butchery were now together and scared in that weird place where the tormentor destiny has united them. Dugulero doesn't have more of Judite's notes. Bartholomew is mad at Rubens. He is bad. Poor wretch. Only you can help them. Hurry up. Help them with what? Are we stuck in a room and escape? There was a, that was a lot to process. <laughs> And I do not remember even a third of it by now. Oh, we can rotate the camera? What? All right, we're in. We're doing it. No fuses. The light went off with the wind of what fell on us. It's cold. Look what you did. Impression, sure. This fireplace didn't have firewood. I guess that's your voice now, Bartholomew. <laughs> I could see Macon's figure. There's nothing on this corner, Digerio. Apologize for butchering all the pronunciations. And not ideal for grind. What do we do? Are we just do we just leave? I guess so. Beetroot. So few beetroots, they must have suffered so much. Daddy only moved for the beetroot. Uh, we need a key. Don't got that. Oh, okay. We got four puzzles to solve, so we need a number code. Key. Like a, a pattern code. Oh, I guess um, this one would be the easiest. Eh? Eh? That doing anything for you? Okay, I guess we'll come back to that one. 
Um, okay, it looks like we need to find a left button. All right. No beetroot. What is your obsession with beetroot? Pots full of celestial nothing again. It smells like aqua fresca as grandma. Okay. Okay. Same thing. Now it's cesium. It shines. It's shiwi, Tonto. Oregano soul. Did you only eat seasonings? No, we also ate who is reading. Are you talking about me? You ate me? I'm uncomfortable. This one is still salt. It's stuck. Okay, we cannot get in there. That same mouth here thrown on the floor. Was it an incident with giant balls? I don't know, man. <laughs> Nothing. It seems like a hurricane passed by here. So what do we do about it? Okay, all right, that takes me back out to that room with the safe door. Or the vault door. Oh, we gotta turn on all these light bulbs. Multicolored lights. Lights. Purple, green, blue, 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 blue. Three lines. Three koshas. Three through three patterns. Got it. What? Am I supposed to remember all of these things? Do I need to get a notebook? Light. It doesn't seem normal light. <laughs> You only do obvious analyzes. Sorry, Bartholomew. I do not remember what voice I gave you last time. It's been so long since I've recorded anything. <laughs> oh, this is the bedroom, right? Well, that's new. Hmm. Daddy kept his special socks here. Are they able to help with something? Oh, hi, Rubens. I'm feeling cold in my tentacles. Locked. Where is the big buffet? What a weird powder inside of the can of paint. Daddy should be keeping it to poison the village. What is this? Concentrated powder of beetroot leaf. The obsession with beetroot in this game is unbelievable. I won't question. It's locked by these grids, but it seems to be possible to open it. Astute observation, Holmes. Meow. Did you meow? Anna Slavosky, please stop whispering. Keys. Lavish, that Papa loved. Once my father extracted my wisdom tooth with it. Uh, that's not cool. Okay, it does not appear we could take anything with us. Oh, we're outside. Let's paint the town red. Yeah. Okay, cool. We got inventory items over here. Wish there was like another light source out front. It's to carry the water. This water will go to our beetroot plantation. <laughs> no wonder you have so many beetroots. You got a whole plantation of them. Fence. I don't remember having this fence here before. It existed in the past. I used to jump with 
the girl. <laughs> Wish the text speed was just a little bit faster. Okay, so that's the bedroom. So if we go through this front door. Locked by the mess inside. Okay, so this is our only entry exit point. What was over here? Uh, that's new. <laughs> Yowie! Gazella. Oh my god, a gazelle! Are they really tame, especially the ones from the local hospital? This one sounds sad. It's been energized by the souls from the micro ga gazelles. We need to take her from here. Oh no! This got real weird. Even weirder than before. Oh. Okay, speed back through that. Oh, okay, good to know. We don't need to click the item to use the item. We just have to click on something and if we have the item, it'll work itself out. Hello, chest, meet my good friend, Axe. I found a key in the chest. Probably for the living room. Okay, so we got that. I can have a sight of the universe. Same, Holmes. Too tall to be from the big buffet, but I've seen things like that in the met in the Metral Hop Pigs movies. Singles bed. Well, that's a weird key. A cactus. I should left this f I should left this for now. Don't want to carry something that I have no use for that I have no use yet. But look at all these we got six inventory slots. We can make room. Now, surely I thought I had this figured out. Obviously not. Maybe it's like an inverse inverted situation. There we go. All right, another cactus. Okay, so we'll leave it behind for now. Okay, there's a cactus behind every door. Hi, three, one, four. Is it that simple? It was. Oh, okay, this is a reset button. Okay, we'll we'll come back to this. This is making me upset. Let's go see if we uh, need any more items or if there's anything we overlooked. Um, of course, we missed the obvious <laughs> raised board on the floor. There's a floppy disk here. High technology and quality device. It says, Chenislavsky Vispers. I'm suffering so much and this is the first key to get out. Please be alive and do not hurt the get the gazelle. Daddy must be did dish. So, had nothing to do with the light bulb sequence out front and only took two valve turns. Boo! All right, all right. All right, well, we found something extra in here. Maybe we need to start checking the other rooms as well, just to make sure that we didn't miss anything. The steel is more shabby. Mommy! A duck's paw mark. Her favorite tomato sauce was herbs made with her calf or paws. I'm sorry. I knew that in some reality would have something on the trash. It's a cliche. We have a magnetic tape. Gazelle scarer. <laughs> it's 
translation. Okay, now what do we do with these things? A magnetic tape, ragaflow feelings, gazelles hates it. A floppy disk that says Chanislavsky's whispers. I'm suffering so much and this is the first key to get out. Please be alive and do not hurt the gazelle. Is there multiple endings? I highly doubt it. Where do we put these things? I didn't see a tape deck or a computer. Okay. Well, here were some ribbons, if I'm not mistaken. Daddy really likes to hear the eagles screaming in unison. <laughs> I'd rather refining of Reginaldo Rossi. They say your heart flies more than an airplane. They say that your love tastes just like gal, gal, <laughs> gal. <laughs> Gonna betray your husband, even in the honeymoon. <laughs> well, there's nothing here anymore. Oh my god, I think I saw a ribbon's ghost. What does that mean? Uh, oh, there's a tape deck. What is this story? There's like, there was so much background lore in the beginning that I don't remember ever getting fully addressed in the first game. So I'm heckin' lost. A same clock from before, but this time with lighting, it seems. It is a unique model clock made by Padilha. Mommy used to play the light th theater with me back there. We did a lot of shapes with the shadows. Does someone put the lamp right there, my duck? <laughs> my dude, my duck? Mommy. Hmm. Clock. Okay. Oh, seems like the magnetic tape works really well. Okay, I forgot that if you have an item and you click an item. Okay. Inventory mechanics. I'm used to the clicking, selecting an item, and then applying it somewhere. Oh, well. Well, what do we do? Does she hate it? Oh, she's gone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can have a sight of the universe. I was clicking the dresser, but okay. Oh, down the hatch. Oh. This is new. That same fridge that had delicious dig snacks inside. Did you steal my dig snacks, thief? Kidnapper. Quack! It's locked. It has devices around that seem to turn it on. Daddy's feather. Dr. Chanislavsky left it ready here, so does it mean it is possible to get out? I ask myself, how did I leave here and left everything in place at the same time? Maybe the incentive to technological progress, as well as the execution of the program's points, stimulate the standardization of the variables involved. <laughs> what exactly? None of this makes any sense. I'm just fumbling around trying to <laughs> escape the room, essentially. But I love those kinds of games, so I'm putting up with it. <laughs> The rose loved the cactus because she understood thorns. That's beautiful. That's what I thought. It seems like there's an empty space. It tastes like banana. <laughs> the empty space tastes like banana. <laughs> the way you lick things make me sick, Manito. Judah used to say the same thing. But without her, this is my best method to find out things. <laughs> so unsanitary. Oh, okay, I just had to click the other computer monitor. Seems the floppy disk works here. Right, the system started, but still needs some things. It asks for a type of capsule, cactuses, and an energizer paste to work properly. 
Okay, that looks like uh, where we put our cacti. I'm getting way more familiar than this house than I ever wanted to. A specimen of Stapelia hirsuta. Hirsuta. Thankfully, its flowers have not grown yet. Mammillaria, cute. Carnigia gigantia, but this is a small version. Um. Hi, did the game break? <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Apunitia stricta, native of Mexico, is even on the flag. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. What else do I need? Uh, we need some kind of capsule and energizer paste. Okay, I'm wondering now... Oops, don't want to go back there. I want to go in the bedroom area. So, okay, so we need to play around with the levers. Oh, is this where the light bulb room comes into play? Uh, I don't know if there's a reset mechanic, but let me step out. Okay. The light bulbs work here, so let's try this. Blue, red, green. Oh, okay. Green, green, blue. Perfect, okay. Red, blue, red. How about that? That's our capsule. We have capsule. Hold it, my octopus. Yep, mate. Rubens, I don't think you're contributing enough. It fits perfectly. She seems to be needing something to process and distribute energy. I say banana. Brilliant, my fish. Do we need to go back to the kitchen area? Or the beetroot room? Dark, dirty dishware from a long time ago. As in that day. I don't know. Did you hear the sound while touching him? <laughs> It's not woven. It's lightsabers ringing. What does that mean? Elementary, my dear Barto. There has to be something lost in translation. Oh, a key. Key. Lave. Or Yave. Excuse me. It's been a while since I've taken Spanish, so I think this is Portuguese. That's what I said. Is there an extra place where we could use a key? Ah, toolbox. What is this? It has daddy's scientist symbol. Banana tonic used carefully in the most nearby branches. I am following it well enough but it's it's weird right this is just a really weird game that makes no sense it looks like there's a tree here is that what we need oh that's weird banana trees only bear fruit once good one nautilus but your name is reuben now we need to do a vitamin <laughs> We gotta do vitamins, kids. 
Okay, there's apparently a lot of extra steps. We got something we oh, there's a blender. Let's blend this yellow beauty, but it was pink. Okay, that looks kind of pasty. I think that's what it was supposed to put in here, according to the manual. Please, let this be the last step. Let's... Bananas smoothie, full energy drink. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Let's see if the octopus was right. Correct, mate. Everything all right. It's time to go out. Barto. Barto. Papa, mama. Judite. What? Where? Did this leave room for a third game? I'm devastated. <laughs> well, that was the very weird... Oh, nope, we're still here. Okay, I almost... I completely forgot about the gazelle. Well then, <laughs> that was Chicken Holmes, Chanislavski Whispers. I'm down to play a third game or a third installment of this Chicken Holmes series, but I have to treat it like just a, a random normal S, you know, forget all the characters, all the story, just treat it as a one shot escape the room situation. <laughs> But I still enjoyed it at the end of the day, and I hope you did too. Thanks again for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!